Hi everyone, my name is Jebra Antoni and now I would like to explain about the productivity. What is the productivity? Productivity is when the process of the lex information is truly productive and it never by the speaker and hearers. Or productivity is a process of lex information that can be used by native speakers to form a new lexim. For example, consumption is that sense is an expression for their productive potential. You can see there are three rules of lexim formation. The first rule for th attaches to adjectives and creates noun. The second is rules for ity. ITY attests to adjectives and creates nouns. The last is rules for NES. NES attests to adjectives and creates nouns. I think that's all and thank you. Okay, for the next is factors contributing to productivity. It has three ways. For the first is transparency. The second is frequency of best, and the third is usefulness. Uh, for transparency, what form with transparent process can be easily segmented. In other words, when we attack an affix to a best by adding the meaning. Uh, for example, uh, NUS and ET. Uh, for NUS, we have candid being candidness, pink being pinkness, common be, being commonness, and odd being oddness. And for it, we have crude being crudity, odd being oddity, pure being purity, timid being timidity. All of this adds up to a conclusion that the suffixion of ness is much more transparent process than the suffixion of it, and this in turn suggests that ness is more productive affix than it. The best is always pronounced in the derived word as it is in isolation. And the suffix always create a noun meaning instead of being adjective. Whether the adjective, word form witness are perfectly transparent, the suffix it is somewhat less transparent. The second is frequency of best, the number of different bases that might be available for a fix to attach to. In an affix attached only to a limited range of bases. If an affix attached only to a limited range of bases, it has less possibility of giving rise to lots of new words, and it will therefore be less productive. And the last is usefulness. A process of lexeme formation is useful to the extent that speakers of a language need new words of a particular sort. For example, to be able to form a noun meaning the state of being X from an adjective. With whatever X means, so both ness and it are highly useful affix. Consequently, the affix has become far less productive, perhaps completely unproductive. Uh, and then, how to finding words? In normal dictionary, words with suffix are alphabetized according to their basis. Nevertheless, there are at least two ways of finding all the words with a particular suffix. For the first ways is from Lehnert 1971. It is look in a backwards word. A backwards word list alphabet is starting with the last letter rather than the first letter. So all the words with it or nas can be found together. But remember 
Using a backwards word, list isn't a perfect tool. And the last base is using the OED online. It stands for any characters that precede the ones that you are looking for. But remember again, you will get a long list which contains many words with the suffix in question, plus a lot of chunk. The next is restrictions on productivity. In this section, we will explore different kinds of restrictions that may apply to the like, same formation process. When we learn how to write Lex information rules, we learn that there could be different sort of restrictions on what sorts of base an affix might attach to, including number one is categorical restrictions. Almost all affixes are restricted to bases of specific categories, for example, the suffix ed and ness attach to adjectives. Iz attach to nouns and adjectives or suffix on attach to adjective or verb. And then the second one is phonological restrictions. Sometimes affixes will attach only to bases that fit certain phonological pattern. For example, iz or is prefers nouns and adjectives that consist of two or more syllables, where the final syllables all does not bear primary stress. The suffix n, which form verb from verb from adjectives. Attach only to bases that end in obstruents like stop, fricative, and affricative. And the third is the meaning of the best. For example, negative on prefers base that are not themselves negative in meaning. We find Unlovely but not unugly, and unhappy but not unsad. So it means that uh, prefix on is already negative, and the base is must uh, not negative. Like lovely is a positive form, and we put uh, prefix on become unlovely. It's become um it's become negative like unlovely we're not putting the un un is already negative and ugly it's a negative it's not the rules so it must be attached to the best that are not neg uh, negative any meaning and to the sort of restrictions we make add uh, etymological restrictions like some affixes are restricted to particular uh, subclass of bases like for example there are affixes in English that prefers to attach to bases that are native for example the suffix an that forms adjective from nouns like wooden, waxen, but not metallin or carbonin. On the other hand, another suffix ik that perform like, that forms adjective from nouns like parasitic and dramatic will not attach to native bases, only to bases that are borrowed into English form from French or Latin. And the second is synthetic restrictions. Sometimes affixes are sensitive to synthetic properties of their bases. You can see the example the suffix able generally attached to transitive verbs. 
so from the transitive verb love we can get lovable lovable but from the in interestative verbs snore there is no snorable and the last is pragmatic restrictions pragmatic restrictions is the word have to make sense the word that have to make sense and they have to have some communicative purpose purpose in order to be used for example you cannot on murdered someone and the second and the second the only book i ever read and i did grow broccoli in my garden we can grow a broccoli in our garden but we cannot uh, turn a broccoli smaller smaller and we cannot uh, turn a broccoli into a seed like that so what I have uh, explained to you above those are uh, the factors of the restrictions on productivity next is about ways of measuring productivity one conceivable way of measuring the productivity of a lesion promising process may be to count up all the item format with the process they can be found in a good dictionary but most morphologists think that is not a good way of measuring productivity because it's not hard to think of reason why counting item in the scenery will not be an accurate way of estimating productivity but you can see by Arnold 976 was make a ratio of a number of actual words format with an epic to the number of base to which the traffic could potentially attach second is by Bayon 989 capitalizes on what we know about the token frequency or derived words the last material about productivity versus creativity actually both of them are together create new words productivity is when the process of the lexeme formation is truly productive and it never noticed by the speakers and hearers when the speaker to create new words without noticing it similarly when hearers are exposed to the productively formed complex word they understand it but usually do not that it's new words at least for them this is not to say that speakers and hearers never notice productively form new words just that often such words slip by without notice for example conception is that sense is an expression for their productive potential next creativity creativity is the domain of unproductive process like suffocation of the or marginal lex information process like blending or back formation this creativity is manifest in two ways first rule govern creativity and second rule bending creativity rule bending creativity it means that the speaker are able to extend their lexicon by using and of creating words idiomatically without subconsciously following rules for example idiomatic compound stool pigeon is an example to which no synchronic rules can be found delivering that the meaning while that line unfolds in an historical context it seems like combined between two words second rule govern creativity for example adjective and ly to be adverb 
adjective quick and and suffix ly to be quickly i think that's all about our presentation uh, thank you for good attention uh, see you